with the owner of Jumping Jack's Children Gym, Mrs. Erin Corso. It's nice to have you. Nice to meet you. So what was your first job and how old were you? And how'd you get the job? Sure. Um, so my first job, I was 13 or 14 years old and I kept score for basketball games at the rec department. Um, it, at the time it was called the Biddy Basketball League and now I think it's called the Weber League. Uh, my family was involved in, um, in the league. My brothers were referees, so I kind of acquired it through them. Okay. Um, so were there transportation issues? or No, there, there really wasn't. Um, my brothers were quite a bit older than me, so they were driving, and, um, or my parents would bring us. So, so we didn't have any, no, no real transportation issues. And, and it, it was only one day a week. It was Saturday. So. And was it what you expected? Um, I'm not sure I had a whole lot of expectations uh, <laughs> when I was when I was that young, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and and basketball actually became a big part of my life. So, um, you know, it, it was really it was fun. It was fun. So you work with kids. Did you know growing up that you always wanted to? I always wanted to be in education somehow in some form. Prior to opening this business, my career was in. Um, education, teaching, and school counseling. This is kind of a natural uh, shift for me. Uh, you know, I, I worked with the older kids in kind of high pressure environments, and now I'm working with younger kids and having fun. So I'm excited, very <laughs> excited. So, what lessons did you learn? from your first job? Yeah, I think your first job teaches you responsibility, uh, teaches you um, to work hard, uh, have a paycheck, and what to do with that paycheck. Um, so, so those are certainly some valuable lessons I learned. And did your first job influence your future career experience at all? Um, I think um, yes and no. It certainly gave me kind of a pathway through high school and college because like I said basketball was a, was a big part of my life. I played basketball in college, took up a lot of time and um, I learned a lot of valuable things playing the sport. You know I, I learned to work with a group of people towards a common goal that um, you know they may have been people that I may or may not have been friends with at the time but uh, we had to work towards a common goal so so that was a really valuable lesson and I think that's a lesson you can learn um, when you're working also you're working towards a common goal with a group of people that you know they may not be your friends but you have to learn to get along and learn to work with them what's one word you could use to describe your first job Sure. well my first job was fun definitely I had fun and I don't think I looked at it as a job as work um, so it was it was certainly fun so it was fun would you do it over again then? absolutely absolutely I would definitely do it over again yeah, I maybe my children will do something like that as well when they when they're 14 or 15. Do you have any success tips for the future generation getting their first job? Um, so well for this generation I think at this point it's kind of take what you can get and yeah. um, whatever you whatever you do do um, do it well and um, do it to the best of your capabilities. So once again, this is Mrs. Erin Corso, and thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me.